group's project for Freshman Engineering Design Day was their concrete canoe. Their group had to build a canoe out of concrete that was capable of floating and holding weight. Our group decided that the best way to go about this was to mix the concrete with a styrofoam aggregate. We mixed 3 20th cup of water with each pound of concrete, as well as 1 4th cup of styrofoam. There were a few design challenges that we faced when we were building the canoe. The first challenge was we had to create a canoe mold for the canoe. The mold we made was constructed out of styrofoam. Our group decided that we should put a gloss coating over the mold so the concrete and styrofoam did not stick to each other. Unfortunately, the gloss coating disintegrated the styrofoam and created holes in the mold. In order to fix this problem, we filled the holes with hot glue and duct tape. Then we layered the mold in saran wrap to protect the poured concrete instead. The second challenge we faced was the canoe had a hole in it. To fix this, we filled the hole with a plastic sealant. We then painted the concrete and sprayed a gloss coating over it to keep the water out. Entering fed competition, we felt our canoe was on equal footing with the others there. There were larger and small canoes there, and between the smaller canoes we did far better. There were mostly max requirement large 18 inch in length canoes there, and the larger canoes each had similar design processes and materials used. Some of the large canoes had measurements greater or less than allowed, and those canoes mainly used metal and styrofoam to hold the concrete poured over the mold. Our canoe held 6 ounces and floated well, but the larger canoes could hold upwards of 4 pounds and floated with ease. Relative to the size of the others, our, our canoe did well. We did not win any awards, though. After finishing fed, we would do several things differently that would improve our performance in the concrete canoe competition. If we built another canoe, we would beat the max requirements instead of being conservative with the size. With the bigger size of the canoe, we could hold more weight than we did in the competition. We wouldn't use the sealer on the styrofoam mold because it disintegrated the mold. Also, using more water in the mix would give the concrete a better consistency and in the end a better canoe. Finally, we would plan out how to make the mold more ahead of time so we wouldn't waste as much styrofoam and we can make multiple sized molds. In our research component, we had to research how concrete is mixed. Concrete is a hardened mixture of cement, water, and an aggregate. There are many different ways to compose concrete. Adding too much water will make the concrete weaker and adding not enough water will make the concrete not pour correctly. The ratio that works best for the type of concrete we used is 0.15 of a cup of water for every pound of concrete used. Also, concrete has little rocks in it called aggregate. These rocks would add weight without increasing the strength significantly. The aggregate can be sifted out and replaced with other material like sand, rubber, plastic, or styrofoam. Styrofoam would provide the least amount of weight, but it would also not provide that much strength to the concrete. An important aspect of creating effective concrete structures is a process called curing. Curing is a multiple step process using water as well as covering layer to protect the concrete from loss of moisture and temperature. Using this process results in a stronger concrete with a reduced permeability. Curing also decreases the number of cracks throughout the concrete, creating a much stronger material. The temperature of the environment is also important to the proper curing of the concrete. At a warm temperature, the concrete should cure the best. The most effective temperatures to cure the concrete are at 70s range on the Fahrenheit scale. During the research, we found that the mixture of the concrete and aggregate should be stirred for approximately 90 seconds and then added to the mold. Once the concrete is in the mold, the mold should be shaken or vibrated depending on the size so that the amount of air bubbles in the mixture is decreased as much as possible. Some advice we would give to incoming freshmen is to do research on other FED projects before choosing the FED project that they want to do because some may be more entertaining than others. Um, start a lot earlier, do research, make a lot of prototypes if you're doing concrete canoe so you can find the best ratios to use and just have fun. You could thank me now. Thank me now. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Thank me later, yeah, I know what I said But later doesn't always come, so instead It's the upgrade, you could thank me now